A wise man once said, things, things are, are probably, probably different, different like, like all around the world. world. And undoubtedly, it has proven to be so. So today we're going to look into one of the examples and we're going to explore the land below sea level, also known as the Netherlands. Location. Kingdom of the Netherlands is located in the northwestern Europe. It borders Germany on the east, Belgium on the south, and the North Sea on the northwest. The country is remarkably flat. Nearly a quarter of its territory is below sea level, so there are large expanses of lakes, rivers, and canals. The four largest and most populated cities are Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Utrecht, and The Hague. But at the moment, we are situated in a small city called Enschede. Even though it's small, it's not different from the rest. Old, yet modern. Diverse, yet traditional. Open-minded, yet simple. The University of Twente is a public technical university, one of the greatest establishments located in this city. But within 25 minutes of biking from here is where I study, Saxion University of Applied Sciences. Besides that, Enschede also has a main square, a Primark, the Rijksmuseum, a couple of Albert Heinz and Littles, and lots and lots of bikes. Oh, and also an art school. Who are the Dutch? Let's look at their typical attributes. They are direct. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, right? I also think so. Okay, Erika, this is your chance to make a new friend. You just had great small talk. They seem to like you. They, we have stuff in common. There's nothing to lose. I have some friends coming over tonight to play some board games. Feel free to join. No. Yeah, no worries. It's fine, it's okay, don't worry. I'm not crying, you're crying. Decently punctual. Let's go. Appointment driven. Okay, this was fun. When do you want to hang out again? Uh, let me check my agenda. Um, I'm kind of busy. Do you want to do like Friday afternoon lunch break? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think Friday works for me. Often multilingual. I don't get it. It's so useless. I can have a look for it. So, do you want it in French or Spanish or German or Dutch? Don't worry. I can translate it for you. And creative. Typical Dutch behaviors. What should we expect from Dutch culture and things to keep in mind? Greetings. If you are on the street and eye contact was made, a kind hello is most times expected. I'm so confused. Did I talk to him before? Why did he say hi to now me? Now I feel really awkward by not saying hi. When Dutch people meet for the first time, they shake hands. The handshake should be made with the right hand and should be firm and short. Bikes. The Netherlands are known for biking. Everywhere you go, you will see bikes. This is the number one vehicle of transportation. But they do be stealing bikes here, so make sure to have a good lock on it. On average, a Dutch person has two bikes. One that's broken and needs to be fixed, and the other one that's replacing it. When you're biking, it is very crucial to signal when you're turning. So here are the most common ways how to signal demonstrated by my lovely assistant, Christina. The casual. The low point. The finger gun. The high five. The wave. And the, I don't feel like it because there's no cars and you're just a pedestrian, so if I run into you, it's gonna be your fault. Big windows. Most buildings and houses have very big, revealing windows. Sometimes as a foreigner, it's difficult to resist the urge to look inside when passing by. The weather. The Dutch are pretty happy, especially when the weather is nice and sunny, but they also love to complain about it, if it's not, because of how unpredictable it can be. Trains. You can go almost anywhere in the Netherlands by train. Almost. The train system here is great. Except when the train gets delayed. Or there's construction. Or it suddenly stops. But it's okay. Who cares about being late anyways? The sirens. Every first Monday of the month at noon, the public warning sirens are tested. 
The very first time I heard them, I was peacefully at my desk doing homework and I didn't know what to do or what on earth was happening. But then exactly after 1 minute and 26 seconds, it stopped. So at least I warned you. This portion of the video is not sponsored by Dopper. Have you ever wanted to drink water? Well, in the Netherlands, the water is safely drinkable from the tap. Moreover, if you're looking to fit in with the Dutch, buy a Dopper water bottle. It comes in different colors, it serves the purpose, and also it turns into a little cup, filled up at home or in the streets. Food culture. Traditionally, Dutch cuisine is simple and straightforward, with many vegetables and little meat, because it's kind of expensive. Nevertheless, the Netherlands are well known for their cheese, troop waffles, and the simplicity of having everything pre-cut and packaged or ready to be cooked, like this soup. But they have lots more to discover, such as the variety of fried frozen mysteries. Croquette, bitterballen, lekkerbekje, fried cheese souffles, fried noodles, sandwiches, and some good old unfrozen olibolen. Some honorable mentions are licorice, pancakes, big or small, and peanut butter. Peanut butter. Uh. When it comes to breakfast and lunch, it is typically a very fragile bread with toppings such as cheese, ham or sprinkles. While dinner is something like meat and potatoes with seasonal vegetables and on Thursdays it's encouraged to be vegetarian. Traditions and events. The Dutch have accumulated many unique and not so unique traditions and national holidays. And here are a few you might need to know. Sinterklaas. It is celebrated on the evening of December 5th, especially with families with little children. It often involves gifts, carrots and shoes, and many kinds of holiday treats, and the main man himself, Sinterklaas, and the controversial Black Pete. King's Day. It's a bit of a confusing and random holiday. Originally, Princess Day was celebrated in Holland on Williama's birthday, 31st of August. Then the next Queen, Juliana, celebrated Queen's Day on the 30th of April. Then Beatrix also celebrated Queen's Day on 30th of April, while her own birthday was in January. And now King William Alexander has followed this tradition. He was born on the 27th of April, and this became the official King's Day since 2014. Except if it's a Sunday, then it's celebrated on the preceding Saturday. The Dutch go all out on this day, wearing a lot of orange, making a lot of noise, and holding flea markets in parks and streets without requiring a permit? Okay. Birthdays. It all starts by putting up signs, balloons, posters, to let your neighbors know that someone's having a big birthday party this week. And on the big special day of the party, guests will pull out their chairs, make a nice and not so geometric circle, and talk about everything and nothing. Also keep an eye on these sprinkles for newborn babies. Since there are many traditions and events, I'll probably won't be able to fit in all of them in this video, so let's just speed it up and look at my highlights. Dao A lot of cycling or walking in a group on the 1st of May. Hanging backpacks from Dutch flag to celebrate the passing of exams. The blooming tulip fields from March to May. Carnival. Carnival? Carnival. And Redhead Day? I think that's enough. This video summarizes the culture experience I gained while living in the Netherlands. I have spent quite some time here making Dutch and international friends, visiting new places, discovering new hobbies and gaining new skills. So I have lots of memories attached to this place. And that's it. Bye! When I'm away, no matter how far, no matter